Hey, what's up reefers? Just wanted to make another video of my Fiji yellow leathers. These are the new shipments uh, that arrived. Um, so just wanted to show you guys, um, got it in. Uh, it's been about a week already uh, that they've been in the tank. So I just wanted to make a cool video because I noticed that some sunlight was shining through my window and seeing them in natural sunlight was pretty cool. Um, color is very vibrant, so I thought I'd make a video for you, everybody to see because I don't think we see that too often. So this is just normal sunlight right here. You can see my Radeon XR30 Blue Gen 5. The lights are off. So this is their natural color under sunlight. So nice and yellow. And then I'll make another video here. I'm going to show you what they look like um, on a different spectrum. So uh, let's see. So I have my iPad set up right here. I have my filter lens here. I'm not going to use it. So you can see the real color. So um, I'm going to first put it on all cool whites. So I'm gonna turn this one all the way up. Turn it up to 100%. And you can see the color. See the color here. Looks nice and yellow. And if you want them to stay yellow, you need to keep your tank um have the wider the light the better so then this is i'm gonna turn this kelvin spectrum up to 6500 so it's what a lot of people say hey keep it at 6500 if you want to keep it yellow so 6500 k there is the kelvin temperature and as you can see here you can see the reflection from the Kessel LEDs here, a little bit more blue, but you can see still somewhat yellow. You notice the ones on the um, the right is that's in the shade uh, isn't as yellow as the ones that are in the natural sunlight. So you can see that not as yellow um, compared to just the cool white LEDs. Again, I'll change it over here then to then now if we go up to let's just say 10K is the next step that people usually say to keep their VGs at. So 10K Kelvin rating. Remember, this is the XR30 Radeon G5 Blue. And as you can see, again, color difference here. That's 10K Kelvin temperature. And then let's just do one last one, 14. So 14K, 100%. Again, not using a filter lens or anything. And that's what they look like there. It's a big difference. So all the pictures you guys are seeing online uh, from online vendors and everything, make sure you ask them what Kelvin rating the picture was taken under. Um, so, but you know, no one really keeps their tank at 6,500K, right? So this is what you can expect. And I'm going to move this again, turn all the Kelvin rating down and turn it back up to just uh, cool whites. Um, if you have the Radon XR30 Pro, G5 Pro models, it's not gonna have the lime or the red, I don't think. It'll have um, a cool white and then a warm white setting. Um, which you can use too, which also makes it looks nice.
but any kind of white LED will make these guys turn much brighter. Yellow in your tank. So you can see, again, sunlight picture there. And you can see, I'll just do a couple of, uh, I'll show you a couple of the nice. Oops, the video stopped accidentally, but I'll show you a couple of the nice pieces I've got. Nice. And yellow. And looks like it has a little imprint of the hole from the frag rack, but whenever you're buying these, make sure the bottom of the stock looks nice and healthy. Um, you can see this one's healthy, right? So that's healthy. But for example, if you don't want to see the one that's not healthy, I think this one, see, it's getting, this was not as colorful. Um, this one I've actually have had for a while. But the color of it, again, this one was under blue lights, so you can see the difference. Um, it's not as yellow, right? But the stock is yellow on the underneath side. So you can see the difference there. Some of these are nice. I've had this one for probably about since the beginning of February. This one's really nice. And also I've noticed some people are getting ones that um, have a bit of the rot or it, where it decays. It's got that leather disease where it decays uh, right on top. So if it has any holes or anything, decay or brown spots, make sure you stay away. That will eventually die. But here's another one. This one's nice, really bright. See the polyps extended out on this? Looking real good. Yellow sponge. Some cool macroalgae that came on the rock. Same with this one. Very cool. See these little dots? I thought they were eggs of some sort, but I dipped everything in. That's just the way the rock is. I've noticed. That's another cool one. This one's a big one. This one's probably at least six seven inches and this one here is probably the biggest one I have they open up once they open up really healthy look at the bottom yeah once they open up they get pretty big smaller one this one's pretty cool this one's came, two came on a rock uh, this one actually has a tuna kit on there which is pretty cool let's see if I can find it uh, yeah this is the tuna kit right there it's not inflated at the moment but very cool Really nice, bright yellow. I think this one I'll be keeping since it has technically three. It's split into three. This one as well, really nice. That's a tunic kit there as well too. So, pretty cool. Bivalve filter feeder. This one here, this is kind of a cool shape, it's shaped kind of like an elegance. Pretty cool. This one, I think, yeah. 
no tuna can on here. But this is shaped like an elegance, which is pretty neat. This one opens up pretty big too. And then check out this cool, these dendro nepathelia, no dendro nepathia, which is pretty cool. This is the, I think it's called the blood red. So look at the color on that. I thought it was a stereo nepathelia, but it's not. Looks like one of my anemones try to attach on, get that guy off. But look how cool this is. Look at that color on that. Not selling this. Trying to keep it alive, I've been feeding a Fido and uh, frozen mysis. But it came with a couple of clams on there, pretty cool. Look at that under the sunlight. Very cool. So trying to keep that one alive. And then I have another smaller frag right here. This one's not doing too well, it doesn't look like. So trying to keep that alive as well. Color is pretty cool though. But I don't think this one's gonna make it. Been feeding it, but kind of melting. But yeah, these are the Fiji Yellow Leathers, straight from uh, the wholesaler then, from that got it from Walt Smith International. So message me if you guys are looking for one, I can ship. But thanks a lot, everybody.